Hey, what's up, my guys, and welcome back to Sprocket. Now, in the last episode, we did a quick build for this Mark 48, in which I tried to quickly crash course you guys through building a simple MBT, or light tank, I guess you could call this. So, now in this video, I want to show a little... I'm not sure if it's a glitch or a feature or what, but it's really cool, and it's actually a lot of fun to play around with if you know what you're doing, and that is quote-unquote ERA. Now, if you don't know what ERA is, it stands for Explosive Reactive Armor, which pretty much means it's an armor package, I guess you say, for most tanks, that's put on to help defeat incoming shells. The idea is, as a shell comes in, it hits this ERA panel that then detonates, causing the shell to get knocked off course, um, knocked out of the air, it can do a whole bunch of different things, and essentially is an explosion that protects the tank. I got this idea from, I was experimenting with a 150 millimeter long range howitzer, shot an enemy tank, and his little fuel tank, if I go over here to mobility, fuel, and these little external tanks absorbed a 150 millimeter shell to his side, because he had it on his side here. And what I found is if you go, say load, uh, load one of my little test vehicles which this is the m41 drop tank which is meant to be an extremely light tank um the base armor for this is non-existent it's 28 millimeters anywhere really um the only reason it has that thickness is because it's sloped as you can see i took a bunch of these little fuel tanks hit shift scrolled down to make them as small as possible clicked you press alt to just duplicate these and these do not increase the weight of your vehicle and they do increase the fuel capacity because that's what they're meant for they're meant for fuel but the little funny thing the little side note is they will also take about just about any shell and make it useless there's a few downsides to this one it is a single use thing once it is hit it explodes it falls off your vehicle and that's that's it, the ERA is used. That's the downside to ERA, is while it can help protect the tank, it is a single use item, and I think every form of ERA that I know of, there may be others that have two or three uses, I don't know. So, make them small, make them plentiful, and they will stop a decent amount of shells. The other downside to this is if it doesn't fall off the tank completely, you now have a flaming little thing on you, which won't actually hurt you in any way, but if it gets in the way of your gun sight, you aren't going to be able to see anything through your gun sight. So you're going to get the blind aim, like, just third person it. Or hope for the best. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are the downsides of this. But I just showed you this tank has no armor whatsoever. We're going to hit Z. We're going to spawn in, we're going to spawn in, actually, the Mark 48 that we just built in the last episode. And we're going to get close, so it acknowledges that we're here, and Mr. No Armor just took a shot. Took two shots. Oh, that actually caused the can to fly off. Four. Five. Six. Seven. He's at point, point blank range. Seven. Come on, shoot me. Eight. Nine. I'm tired of this. Let's just kill it. Oh, it finally got me. Where'd it get me? There we go. It ate through our ERA and put a shell through our front plate right there. So, yeah, that is the power of ERA or what I'm calling ERA. So what we can actually do is, this, I've already done it just for testing sake. We can take our Mark 48 and we can go ahead to mobility, fuel, little canister, shift, scroll it down. We can start plastering these all over our vehicle. So there, Alt to duplicate. And hopefully things turn green. Actually, I need to move these lights up. There we go.
So not only can this be used to add extra armor, but if you really need to get a tank lightly, as light as possible, you can just straight up subtract armor and put these instead. Like here, on our front plate, we've got 70 millimeters of thickness, and at this angle it gives about 163. What we can actually do is make that absolutely nothing. There we go, that is our ERA package. And let's just say, for the sake of testing, say we want to make the side of the turret these as well. You just make these tiny. And funnily enough, the decal will actually go over these tanks, so if you have a decal like I do, it'll paint on top of the tank, or on top of the um, quote-unquote ERA. There we go. So now, we're all plated up with ERA. I just weakened the crap out of that. And if we go to base, turret, armor, you can also see that we have no armor here on the side plate either. Which is a good place to actually put the ERA. And we have no armor here either. Really? We have a little bit. Not much. So, let's go ahead and face this off against another... Mark 48. Here we go, hit that canister right where we have no armor. Now the thing is, this is going to be depleted, so we do actually need to make sure he hits a new spot every time, or else he will pen straight through that little weak section. There, he penned right through it, because let's see where he hit. Where did he hit? I don't see the entry hole. Wait, where did he hit? Hmm. Actually, not sure where that round went. I'm guessing he hit right where that ERA is. So, you can actually stack these a little bit if you get it right. You can sometimes place these on top of each other. Shape, mobility, fuel. There we go. These, you can see I can stack these if I wanted to put multiple layers. Um, it can be a bit tricky sometimes. We're going to try and double layer this just because this is where he keeps shooting. It's not letting me stack these. Oh well. But... Let's go ahead and do one more test. That should solidify how this works. So let's actually, let's present him the RA on the turret too. Penda somewhere. And he killed us from just driving behind. So hopefully this demonstrates the effectiveness of ERA. And you might actually start putting it on your tanks as well. Just for one last shits and giggles, let's take this out and let's kill a Mark 48.
Hey, there we go. So this little no armor light cannon thing just drove up to the big MBT we built yesterday and just killed it. Just because it has some fuel tanks on the outside. Nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, share this help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, peace.